Hi everyone, it's Patricia. I know it's been a while since my last video. It was about two months ago. And uh, I feel so bad for you guys listening to that last video I made. I sound so horrible. I was really sick. And basically it took about two weeks for me to get better. And when I did, I had tons of chores uh, to do around the house. And I wanted to spend some quality time with my family also. And then after that, uh, Thanksgiving was around the corner. So um, we had to plan and, you know, do things for the family around that time. And also, Savannah's birthday is Thanksgiving Day, but we wanted to celebrate a week before Thanksgiving so she could spend some time with her friends and um, not come between friend time and the Thanksgiving for their families. So we celebrate a week before. And now, basically, is Christmas time. So there's a lot of stuff also to do. And uh, I've definitely been creating and shopping, of course. So I basically wanted to come here and show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on. And uh, I want to give a big thanks to a lot of amazing ladies here on YouTube that have been leaving me comments and uh, private messaging me if I'm okay. I'm definitely going to get back to every single one of you ladies. You guys are really special to me. You, you mean a lot that you guys even care about me. So uh, I'm definitely going to leave you guys a comment back and respond to everyone. So let me show you guys what I've been working on. It's a box. The paper line that I use for the box is from Die Cuts with a View, Mademoiselle Stack. I'm sure you guys all seen this paper stack already. It's very beautiful. I love the patterns and the colors inside. Really, really cute. I love the ladies' images. Really, really beautiful. Okay. So all I did is just cover all the four sides of the box with the paper and the bottom also. I distressed the edges with uh, weather wood and on the inside also. The lid, what happened to the lid was that um, this is a box from the dollar store so they come three in a set so it, this is like part of it also and uh, this is the original lid to the box so of course I was going to add paper to the inside because I wanted it to match the box and it would not close at all as you guys could see and if it was going to close, it was going to damage the paper. And I didn't want to do that. So I made my own lid from cardboard. And I think it worked out really cool. And it's fine. It, you can barely see that it's homemade. So uh, if it's perfect, onto the box. And it does wiggle a little, but it's okay. I don't mind that. At least it won't damage the paper. On top, there's a lot of uh, iron roses flowers. So here's a gardenia, cherry blossom, some N10 flowers all the way around the box. And then I just add some uh, little pearls and charms and buttons to the box also. So that says made with love right there. And then this leaf over here is from uh, Prima. So I used three. So it's one right here, one here, and one there. And uh, then I just typed, uh, we don't remember days, we remember moments. And then throughout the box, there's the flowers and the buttons, little pearls. And then, of course, I added some frog feathers trim, too. And then the teapot on top is from my road. And it's from um, the coffee and tea mini chipboard set. So it's this set right here. And I used a lot of stuff throughout the project that I'm going to show you. And that's basically it. And then I also used some rope twine onto the box. It's very simple. I'm still going to add a couple more things throughout the box and then it'll definitely be finished and I'm gonna make uh, also a mini album to go inside so uh, then it'll be completed the box so that's one of the projects I've been working on and then I made a teapot from scratch so I drew my own template of a teapot basically I would just have to go in with exacto knife and cut this part out and as you can see it is a recycled cardstock just to use as a template so I cut two extra of these to make the teapot box for the inside is using a wooden matches box it's already made for me all I did to the box is just made an extension so I could cut out these parts right here of the lid of the teapot so I just cut it out like that and I glued it to the extension part of the box so I could be able to pull out the little draw on the teapot the paper that I use for the teapot is from Prima, the botanical stack. So it's this paper line right here. I'm sure you guys have already seen that. And also the die cuts of the view, Mademoiselle stack also. 
So the blue is from Prima and the, the orange part is from Die Cuts with a View. And basically the draw pulls out like this. I did add paper to the whole draw of uh, the wooden matches box. As you can see for right now I just have lip and teas so there's like six varieties of uh, tea inside. And um, this part right here is the extension to the box that I made. And these parts right here are the extensions that I put of the lid gluing down to the matchbox. And then basically just goes in like this in the box. So it becomes like a little drawer on the teapot. It's really cute. I distress the edges of the whole teapot with walnut stain from Tim Holtz. Just give me that vintage look to it and rough edges. Really cute how it turned out. On the front of the teapot, I used the Samayan roses. So here's a rose, a cherry blossom, Estin flowers, and some rose twine. And here's a crochet taupe um, flower. I just add some buttons and uh, a heart charm and some little pearls. And uh, over here is a teacup and a spoon also from my road that I alcohol dinked and I um, add some glossy accents to the top. And I heat set it so it could give me that bubble look, really glossy look at the end to it. On the top is T, spells out T. All I did is just cut out with my Sizzix um, some um, letters. And as you can see, it's still bare cardboard. I didn't want to really add paper or anything to it. I just distressed the edges with walnut stain. And then I added some wires just to hold it underneath the whole flowers that I put. And then I added some skeleton leaves, also from uh, Iron Roses. And then on top, I just finished it off with some Prima Bling just to give me that shine and sparkle to the box. So this is another project that I've been working on. It's really cute. I really like how it turned out. I'm definitely going to be creating more of these. And then I made four boxes. So I could just put some goodies. Because this is going to be for a swap that I'm in. A one-on-one -on -one swap with amazing, amazing, talented lady. I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to ruin the surprise. So I made four boxes. So let me show you guys how I made the boxes. So I just drew my own template just to see if it would work. And it did actually work. So as you guys can see, it is double-sided the paper from Kane Company. Let me show you guys the paper. So this paper for these three right here are from uh, this stack from Kane Company. Really beautiful blues and cream tones. I love the robin eggs in this stack. And then also, I used this Kane Company paper for the last one. And it's from the um, Around the World stack. And the paper is really cute too. I really like it a lot. It's really adorable. Really fun, fun colors in this stack. I'm sure you guys seen it too. Okay, so let me start off with this one. I fussy cut a Mademoiselle um, image from Die Cut to View. And then I just had some Prima Bling, a cherry blossom, an Estin flower. And then I just add a little small cameo right there. And then over here, I just fussy cut art from the Pixie Glen um, paper stack from Prima. And over here is also a Prima leaf. And it's very simple. I just stressed the edges also with Vintage Photo. And then for this one, there's also Prima Bling, and this is another teapot from my road that I alcohol dinked, and uh, I added some glossy accents, and then I just he said just to give me that bubble look to it. And here is a tea sign from Pink Paisley, and it's this stack right here from the Butterfly Garden Collection. So it comes with beautiful images on the inside, and then I just put some cream seam binding and another cherry blossom Estin flowers, and then I just add some buttons. And I also distressed the edges with uh, walnut stain. Some are with walnut stain and some with um, vintage photo. And the other one is with weather wood also. So this one is with weather wood. The edges of the box. I just wanted to bring it out the blues. And here's an image also from Pixie Glen from Prima. Some more Prima bling. Also another stain from the Pixie Glen paper stack. Some rope twine. Estin flower. And then the button right here. And that's also from the Mademoiselle stack, the little show. And then this is the last one. I just had some more Prima Bling. And then another scene from the Pixie Glen paper, more Prima Bling. And another small little cameo right there, S10 Flower and the Cherry Blossom. So these are another uh, little small little gifts that I made for my swap partner. Just so I could put some goodies inside. 
And then the last thing that I made just to go with the set, I definitely still need to do a mini album and a card and uh, a tag to go with the set. But these are just some flowers that I made. And please do not judge me on my flowers. I suck at flowers. I'm not good at them. So I just used the Tim Holtz uh, die and the uh, Sizzix die to make these little roses right here and the flowers. So I just add some uh, pearls on the inside and some little small little tiny crystals. And then I just stamped the image from Kaiser Craft. It's already inside the package, so I don't want to open, so I, I don't mess with the glue that much. So I'm sorry about the glare. And that's my projects, guys. For right now, I want to thank you guys again for watching my videos and the beautiful, beautiful comments you guys always leave me. And as always, happy scrapping. Bye, guys.